I'm V, and this is the Ratcheting Raven. Today we're going to be doing a valve cover gasket replacement on a 2011 Chevy Malibu. So a little backstory is, this is my friend's car. He came over a couple days ago to change his spark plugs, and there was like this much oil in the spark plug well. So I'll insert some pictures of that here. Yeah, the valve cover has get completely spent. I actually had to use my um, little oil suctioning device back there to get the oil out. I mean, the spark plugs submerged. The coil packs were absolutely drenched. It was just dripping out of the coil packs. So yeah, we're gonna patch that up today. <laughs> okay, so first we're gonna undo this. Uh, and I'm gonna get a pair of pliers and undo this hose clamp. It's that hose clamp right here. And, uh, you know, as always, I have forgot to charge, like, all my flashlights. So I'm stuck with this one, which it works, but, you know, it's not the best directionally. There's also a hose clamp right back in here. It's off, set it out of the way. I'm gonna go ahead and put a paper towel like that so nothing gets up in there. Cause it, it is raining and you know, there's bugs flying around and stuff. So this here, this back on so it does not get lost. Okay, so next I'm going to undo these coil pack wires. Push in, slide back. That one was tough last time too. Push down, push down. That one was very, very difficult last time. I don't know why that is, but There we go. There we go. Okay, so that's all out of the way. Just push that back there. Next, we're going to take a 10 mil, take the coil packs out. This may be super oily again. I guess we are about to find out. Not as bad this time. I'm gonna lay these over here in the order in which I took them out. It is still getting some oil on them. It's just, it's just not as bad. Okay, so I, I took a look and it is building up oil again in the spark plug wells, but it is minuscule, but I will still show you. might not be able to see this one super easy oh huh? yeah now i did just clean the oil out of there not even a week ago so it hasn't really had time to build up and he hasn't driven his car very much anyways yeah let's get on with the process these clips come off i'm pretty sure this is like a camshaft actuator okay so this has to come off the uh valve cover weird little zip tie there we go. This hose clamp has to come off and that's going to be quite fun to get off. And I guess, you know, since you disconnected or we disconnected the other end from the big piece I took off, you don't have to disconnect it, but I want to make it a little bit easier on myself and not have, um, you know, hoses flailing around. So we'll lay this 
just right there. Let's see, what else has to come off? There's a bracket right here um, that just holds this line in place. We're gonna take that off so we can miss over. There's a bracket on this side down here that I will show you that I will also be taking off. These two bolts go to this bracket right here. And that just looks like it's going to be a pain for me. <clears throat> so um, I'm gonna go ahead and eliminate that. It's a 13. that should be everything that has to be removed I guess we will see as we go now let's get to the uh, bolts of the valve cup itself I'll have to get a longer extension for that one. Oh, and in case I didn't mention these bolts are also uh, 10 mil here there are uh, none that I see mm. that one was a bit of a pain we go all right last one mm, that hurt my hand all right now to get the valve cover off I'm gonna remove this hose just to get it out of my way There we go, breaking the seal a little bit. Let me break it down at this other end. And it's sealed much better here and there than it is there in here. So I don't know, like there was actually a gap, which would probably explain why these two uh, spark plugs were more submerged than these two. There we go. Valve cover is off. Here's the gasket. Hi. <laughs> okay, so next we're gonna take um, this old gasket off and it is crumbly, like hard, crumbly, breaking. There's a very large part of it. I'm gonna throw this over there. I've got a little pick I'm going to use to get off these parts that broke. And I'm not picking hard. You don't want to gore the metal. I'm just trying to get this old gasket off as gently as possible. Oh, so this one's going to be an absolute pain for me. Cool. I would um, expect nothing less. I would expect absolutely nothing less. There we 
There goes another piece. And there's the last piece. I'll probably clean up this valve cover too because it is just a crispy hot mess. Okay, move to the next one. That one's being a pain. There we go. This one is like hardened steel. Good gosh. There's a chunk. Good thing I'm wearing glasses. <laughs> uh, little piece of it flew up and hit me in the ear and in the face. Oh, that one made it easy on me. It came off in one big piece. Sweet. Where did that go? Right there. Okay, all the gasket is off. While the valve cover is off, um, I'm gonna give it a pretty good cleaning, or try to. I'm gonna use some trusty, trusty brake cleaner. Um, spray it down, and then I'm gonna brush it a little bit to get most of this gunk off. That way it's in its, <laughs> let me get a hose of straw. <laughs> back with the appropriate equipment. Okay, so I can't take it outside because it's raining and I don't want a bunch of water to get in there. So we're just gonna do it at the edge of the garage door. That way it gets proper ventilation. Oh my gosh, do you see that flying everywhere? I'll put my glasses back on. This is flying everywhere. And yes, I'm absolutely wearing uh, socks with my slides. It is chilly and rainy and my feet get very cold. Now I'm not, you know, pushing, putting a lot of weight, just letting it slide across the surface to get a lot of this gunk off. And it will not get perfectly clean and that is okay. I just wanna get a lot of the buildup off. That's looking somewhat better already. Final little rinse. I'm also going to make sure that I spray around where the seal, the gasket goes, to make sure all the oil and all that's out. All right, now I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to let it dry out. So I have these little bolts that came out of the valve cover. I have the new gaskets that go on here, so I'm going to replace those. Some of them are much more difficult than others, I will say that. 
So yeah, you just pull them off like that, then they'll look like this. And then you take the new one and push it on, which may be, you know, easier said than done. Yeah, goes on just like this. So I'm gonna do those and I will be back. Okay, I'm back. This has dried. I'm gonna go around and make sure that there's no like gunk or anything around where the gasket goes. All right, same thing in here, which this is pretty clean except for this one. I'm just gonna go through and press this in. You don't wanna stretch it or anything. Just press it in place. This. All right, it's pretty much in place. Gonna make sure it's pressed in all the way around. When you push these screws through where the gasket is, you can kind of see right here, it kind of comes through. But you wanna make sure it's in there, the, the the way that it's supposed to go. So you want that lip of the screw right there be in the actual um, gasket. It'll help hold it on at that corner. I'm gonna do the last one real quick and then we will move on. Back through, make sure it's all pressed in. It didn't really move too much. Okay, gasket's on. Okay, so something I forgot to mention. These um, little things that go right here that the coil pack screws go through, those have little replacement gaskets too. So I'm gonna replace those and pull it off. Then you just take the new one and press it on. Before I put this back on, I'm gonna go ahead and take these and press them where they go, just like that. This gasket part will stay on the top side. This will come through and the lip will set around here, like that. And so all of those are on now. I'm gonna uncover this. I'm actually gonna take some of this towel and I'm gonna spray a little bit. That went all over me. Spray a little bit of brake parts cleaner on this and I'm going to wipe around where the gasket goes and it's quite dirty just want to make sure all that oil and debris is cleaned off that way the gasket has no issue sealing And I'm not wiping towards because of all the debris, I'm wiping away. Okay, that's all cleaned up now. So I've got the valve cover. I'm gonna go through one last time, make sure it's all pressed in everywhere. It is. Now we will set it back on, like so, like that. Got the rest of the bolt. I'll just kind of put those where they go. I'll get them hand started the best that I can.
with my tin mill. Could not even begin to tell you where that went. Oh, I found it. Ta-da! You know what? There it goes again. <laughs> and I know that time it did not hit the ground. So, oh, I see it. I gotta go get my magnet. Magnet. Ta-da! Okay, so I've got my specialty uh, hose clamps here, reconnecting this, this hose that goes to the coolant reservoir. Like so, like that. This clips back there. Uh, now I'm going to put that bracket back on that I took off earlier. I'll start it by hand first. started and these don't have to be uh, super tightened down they literally just hold this bracket so you want them snug but other than that it's not really it doesn't do anything That's tightened down. No. Okay, that's snug back down. Pretty sure I didn't disconnect anything else, but we're gonna run back through and, you know, triple, double, quadruple check so i've got these coil packs with oil on them um i'm going to spray those off with some electronic cleaner momentarily <coughs> okay so now we're gonna put the coil packs back on i'm just going to Set it there. I'm gonna get them started real quick. All right, now to hook up the little wires for coil packs. So connected, put that back there. Okay, that's all back together. connected. We'll remove these. Oh, yep. You know what? 
duh. Okay, gonna start up and see how it goes. All good. <laughs> 